What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we're talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Teams. And we're going to look at action, which is post your own adaptive card to the user in a channel. So this is an interesting action. Um, I think it's maybe a holdover from some other actions, uh, but I'll kind of get into that. This allows you to post a, an adaptive card to the user as the flow bot in Microsoft Teams in the channel. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger. I'm gonna click on New Step and go to Microsoft Teams Connector down here. And I can scroll down until I find this one, Post Your Own Adaptive Card as the flow bot to a channel preview. So if I click on it, I'm gonna get four inputs. And you'll notice this is slightly different from the other adaptive card videos that I've made so far, in which we don't have an actual editor to go off and create an adaptive card. Now, I've told you previously that the editor was available in the new interface, like the new experimental features, but not available in the regular, um, you know, normal interface. So that might be why this is here, whereas previously you would have to use an adaptive card um, that you, you know, well, again, you'd have to create an adaptive card in the adaptive card maker and write it all. So I'm not too sure why this is here, but it's another, it's another thing to look at. It's another way to use the software. So let's try. So the team here, this is your Microsoft team. I'm going to use my MCJ demo team that we've been using in other videos. And then it's going to ask me for the channel. The channel is going to be a list of the channels that I have in that team. You'll notice this is looking like the old editor as well. So I click on the general one, or we'll post the general one. Next, we need a message. So this is the message that is going to be your adaptive card. So you need to go off, you need to generate your adaptive card, you need to write a JSON for it, and then you need to put it into here. Uh, as I previously mentioned, there is an adaptive card builder that you can go to a website and build it all, or you can use one of the other triggers and actually use the adaptive card, and uh, not the triggers, the other actions, and use the adaptive card builder in there to build your adaptive card, copy the JSON, and then paste it in. Now, I have in my buffer a bunch of JSON already, uh, and we will post that in there. The last one we have is headline, add a subject. So we're going to say this is a subject. This doesn't actually appear um, anywhere. The subject or the um, headline is usually the thing that is shown in your activities but this this action doesn't allow me to see the activities so i don't really understand what the headline is for but anyway let's test it out so let's hit save and let's test so we'll test our form and trigger action we'll test we will run the flow we'll go to my mtj demo and you can see it it posts instantly um the the flow finishes so that is the that is actually the difference there so the so the flow uh posts the adaptive card to the channel but doesn't wait for a response so that's why this action is different i just figured that out while making this video because i can't figure it out before so you can you can run the flow you can post the adaptive card to the channel if we go to my channel and go to my general channel this is the adaptive card that i built so welcome to Jurassic park and a picture of jeff goldblum uh because why not um so when I was testing this, I found what I thought was a bug uh, and now realize that I don't think this is a bug. Um, so this action posts the message to the channel here, but doesn't wait for a response. Therefore, you cannot use any um, actions to then submit back to the user. So I can't collect data and then submit it back but what I can do is I can just send them out to card with a bunch of information and then not wait for any user inputs. So that's why this is here. Uh, and that's why you can use this. This is really handy. Um, this is great when you figure this out when you're, you're testing it. Uh, I couldn't figure it out before, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's no, there's no headline here. Um, I can't see a headline. It's not in my activities because it's not been marked as, a, as something of an activity. So I'm not really sure what the headline does, but we can see what the rest of it does. It posts, it posts that adaptive card to the user, 
doesn't wait for any input, but we can just send things to the user, which is fantastic. Um, and there we go, that is what this action does. Uh, I learned something while making this video, so I hope you learned something too. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, if you could drop a like and a share, uh, share of this video, that would be appreciated. It would really help me grow this channel even more. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.